Hello there. Hey, you know what? Today I'm going to talk about a dumb topic. Coffee beans. You know, I used to think that people that ground their own coffee beans just didn't make any sense to me. I thought that seems a bit eccentric. Well, I've joined that club. Um, as you can see over my shoulder here, I have a Keurig. And I've had this Keurig for about two and a half years. I really enjoy it. If somewhere along the line, I got into purchasing coffee beans and grinding them and, and brewing in my Keurig. And um, yeah, I don't do this all the time. Sometimes I still buy um, K-cups in from the store, you know, 12 pack here or there. But there is just no comparing to the smooth and the fresh coffee that um, that I get from brewing fresh ground coffee. There's just no comparing. So yeah, even with the Keurig, you can still brew coffee. You know, there's a, probably a lot of coffee snobs out there, and I'm one of them. Um, the, you know, particular coffee makers are better than others, but this is what I do. It's easy, it's convenient, and let's see how I do it. Let's have some fun with that. So, for a little bit of humor and fun, it was recently my birthday, and my husband asked me, What do you want? What do you want? And I said, You know, this is the strangest thing in the world, but I said, I just want some coffee beans. Um... And I, I bought a few other small little things. I spent about 30 bucks all together, but that doesn't matter. Coffee beans for my birthday. And I wanted to go somewhere different, somewhere I had not gone for a while. I normally just go to the grocery store. So this is what I bought. Honduran Santa Rosa. Oh, by the way, Sprouts. This bag is almost empty. Uh, this is one smooth blend. Oh my goodness gracious. I also bought, he bought for me, chocolate, caramel or caramel, depending on where you live, brownie. This is not a sweetened coffee. Um, what I like to do with this, at my age, I just turned 62, I have, this particular summer, I have fallen in love with iced coffee. So I have to start out my mornings with, uh, it's a 16 ounce um, thermal mug of black coffee. And then I turn around and if I want a second uh, mug, I fix iced coffee. Oh, it's so refreshing, so good. But what I do is to that 16 ounce thermal uh, mug I add I fill it with ice I add about a half a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream not much fat there and I add a tiny little squirt of stevia or stevia again however you pronounce it and then I run um, six to eight ounces of this chocolate caramel brownie into that mug and stir it. Oh my goodness. It is wonderful iced coffee. It's not syrupy sweet and it's just, it's a treat. Okay, next. Scandinavian blend. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I'm thinking that um, this is probably going to be uh, a strong brew. I look forward to it. So look forward to it. And last but not least, organic Guatemalan. I love Guatemalan coffee. And yes, it is a dark roast. I called it strong before. I meant to say dark roast. And um, yeah, yeah, Guatemalan coffee is just excellent. So, you know, I know I have a lot of beans, and I just wanted to mention that. Um, you know, if you Google it, uh, Google how should I store my beans and and how long I should store them after roasting and so on and so forth. I think particular roast, particular types of beans, um, I believe some say 
you know, use within five days. Um, some say 12. Some say, you know, you can't use any soon. Sorry, the screen's jumping around. It's me. Um, some say, you know, two weeks. I can't mess with that. It's just plain old me. Um, I keep all of my coffee, if it's still in the paper bag, I keep it within a Ziploc bag. Um, I don't use the freezer. I don't have a lot of room for that, but that does help. The biggest thing is to keep the air um, oxygen out of your coffee, and I hope someday I can remedy that. I haven't gotten there yet. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and may you enjoy your coffee. Forgive me, I live in a very small space. My favorite grinder is, we're working from the sink, by the way. Huh. My favorite grinder is Proctor, Proctor Silex. It's electric. I really want to also bring a um, sip, a hand um, grinder into the house so that I can grind if the power goes out. How I'm going to roast coffee then, I don't know. I'll figure that out at that time. But this lifts off, and generally you fill this up with beans up to this edge right here, this little line. And I like weaker coffee. So I usually um, grind maybe twice, kind of shake it while it's grinding, grind it down. And I end up with a coarse blend. Some of the beans are even just cut in half, just some of them. I would say probably one-tenth of them. So this makes for... Uh, a really smooth cup of coffee. So let's get busy grinding some of this and we'll take it from there. Grind enough coffee for three or four days. I don't grind any any more than that because I want this coffee to be as fresh, taste as fresh as possible. Um, the best container, um, there could, it could be a brand name for your coffee, but um, what I what I hope to get into in the future is a vacuum coffee container that takes the extra air of the, out of the jar. But for now, I'm sticking with the glass jar, um, and I'm grinding enough coffee for three or four days. And next, I'm going to show you how we make coffee with the cheater cup. So inside of this cheater cup, there's a little, little line that says max. I slightly exceeded that, but I tried to go to that line, maybe slightly over, and I get my smooth coffee with this. Um, we screw the lid on, and that's pretty easy to do. And then we place this in our coffee maker. Ah, oh, coffee. Is there ever a better time especially first thing in the morning. Number two, 16 ounces, and there we have it. My favorite Keurig K-Cups, coffee and chicory, community coffee brand. And I also dearly love these Hill Country Fair K-Cups breakfast blend. These are uh, Texas pecan. They're not, yeah, no, 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 no. I like those as well. But um, these are Cafe Ole, which is an HEB Texas product. Um, these are decaf Texas pecan. And I kind of use them half strength. And I'll tell you what I do I don't like really strong coffee. So you may like it really strong, but what I do is I brew with 16 ounces of water, and there is my coffee mug, instead of 8 ounces. If you like stronger coffee, go with the 6 or 8 ounces. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this silly little video. You know, when I use the term snob, I'm just saying it kind of um, humorously. To me, a snob is the same as someone that's a little different, and we're all different. We're all created to be unique beings. So, you know, if you're a coffee snob and you're enjoying what, then, you know, fruits of this earth, then coffee snob on. Just keep on going. So, let me know in the comments um, if you have a Keurig, 
if you step out and brew or uh, grind some of your own beans, if you plan to purchase a Keurig again in the future, or what some of your plans are, how you store your coffee beans, so on and so forth. Love to hear from you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.